Hi right, guys, Rams 101 here with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. And 5's on the side there, this is my 4. Unfortunately, we had a little ding while recording this video. So I'm not pleased about that, but it is what it is. I'm going to start with talking about the covers. I'm not sure what Samsung's doing here um, compared to what they've been doing. I hate the covers. I genuinely do. Um, the feel of this phone, and I mean, it's not cheap, and this cover just feels flimsy. And the problem being, you can buy the leather cover, and it feels really nice, but then you don't have like something to grab onto, like so. Um, this comes with a stand which is here and they replace so it's like the previous generation ones and if you've got a previous generation pen you can also use that on this um i mean i don't even like the previous ones to be honest um and i mean when it comes to covers this was the one i went for the reason we went for this is because it's got a proper stand to it. Not to say that doesn't perform in the same way, but this actually feels better. So let's remove the covers and have a look at the phone. I think what they've achieved here is quite substantial. And I do like what this phone is about. Um, it's lighter, it's more powerful. And I mean, not to say that it's got a better process or anything like that. The specs are relatively the same, but what it does have is um, the next generation of Snapdragon and it does make a difference. Um, it seems more smoother, um, it seems more capable and let's just take this off. I haven't gone for the S Pens. Um, I frankly think it's a bit of a gimmick. Um, I've seen a lot of people use them and it works for people. Um, but for me, I think until they put it into the case itself, it's just not gonna mark it for me. Um, but that's me personally anyway. So starting with the hinges, you can clearly see that it's slimmer. It sits better together. On yeah, have a look at that. And I mean, there's still a small gap, but it's nowhere near what it used to be. The hinge is definitely smaller and it doesn't protrude as much either. So for me, that's a big win. I can't describe the feeling to you. If you've got a phone like this um, and looking at it from this side, feels un unbalanced and this isn't something you're going to pick up on initially over time with all of the phones it's been the same thing really and it just feels a little bit unbalanced a little bit uneasy um, whereas this is just perfectly balanced both sides are the same and it does make a difference I feel a lot better with this in my hand than I do with this. Um, not to say this isn't a good phone, it is a very good phone. It struggled a little bit with editing and processing, um, but I mean, that's probably more the app than it is the phone itself. Um, I do like this phone, but this is just a killer. I mean, have a look at it from all sides and the design hasn't really changed much it all comes across in the same way i think the only thing that is different is the camera setup your lights there rather than there the cameras they don't protrude as much as the previous version but i mean all small things really the main thing here would be this hinge system and Honestly, I just 
the balance for me is what does it and it's lighter than the previous um yeah this one's definitely got a bit more weight to it than the new one and on the inside screen let's have a look just open these two up Again, there isn't much of a difference here. It's all the same, the crease is still there, but you wouldn't notice it. Once you start watching something or doing something, you won't really pick up on it. So, as I said, this thing just really hits a marker for me. I uh, do love it. The problem with these phones is that you spend that much money on it and it is beautiful i mean even the previous one i went for the burgundy in this and who's seen this beauty no one because it gets put in a cover you were going to want to protect it and no one sees it after that so once you put this cover on you just see the beauty just disappear and let's put the back on and it goes from being so slim and beautiful to a little bit more bulky and frankly this cover is so ugly i don't like it i think samsung should have invested a bit more time into developing a good range of covers they did it with the s23 ultra and I mean, the range of covers was just stunning. Um, I didn't get the S23 Ultra because the way I see it is once you go for a fold, you never go back. I don't think there's anyone who's bought a fold and said to themselves, you know what, I actually want a smaller font. It doesn't work like that. So if you're going to make these decisions about I want a fold, just know and just remember that's it. Once you fold, you don't go back. And again, as I was saying to you about the beauty of this thing, it goes into a cover like that. And the front goes on. And that's it. I mean, you can get clear covers for it. I won't say you can't, but I don't know. They just ain't as beautiful. Um, if you've bought yourself the new Fold 5, you should have got the starter pack that comes with it for £50. I think that's not a bad investment. Um, it comes with the pen, not a bad thing at all. Um, also, you can claim your Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro with these. So if you have um, ordered it in the pre-order time, um, go to, I'll put the link in the video actually. Um, definitely submit your claim. Those headphones are beautiful. You will love them and definitely a perfect touch for these devices. And that kind of brings me on to Samsung's ecosystem. The buds that I have when I'm watching a video, say I'm watching it on this and I get a phone call on that, it will automatically disconnect from here, connect there and allow me to take my call. And then once I put it down, it will just connect straight back to my other device and allow me to continue watching my film. So I think them kind of things um, with my tablet, I'm able to use this as a do well, a second screen it just makes life so much easier and the ecosystem is second to none apple they, they kind of ruled that market for some time but that's long gone i think with the way they've worked all of this and under your settings you'll see samsung labs and the labs are just kind of where they're putting things out for people to test and try and see how it kind of works out for them. And I mean, just quickly going to my flip, I'll show you this quickly. So one of the things that there's been a lot of videos going around is obviously with Netflix. Um, let me just open this up. And this was on labs. So there you have it. They've trialed it, they've tested it, and now you can actually just watch things on your main screen. Well, I don't know if I'd 
personally like to watch this on a small screen, but nonetheless. No more, no more, no more. Imagine being on the bus or the tube and just watching your phone like that. I mean, obviously, you can kind of just open it up and watch it on your full screen. Um, I think the labs is another thing where they're just trialing new things. They're getting feedback from all of us. And I love it because it allows you to do so many different things. But, yeah, guys, if you got yourself a Fold 5, or even the four, let me know what you think. And is it worth the upgrade? Um, so far so, I would say yes. And just that feeling of it being balanced, I can't explain it to you. If you've got one, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, then I think it might be time to upgrade. This thing is looking promising. Um, the main focus here has been all around the flip and you know what what a beautiful thing it is um, have a look at my other video on the flip um, of comparison against the four and yeah guys let me know all the best rams 101 out